This is a My Deal Stash troubleshooting video. The issue we're troubleshooting today is the computer stops at the verifying DMI pool data. Possible solutions, corrupt boot files on the computer, boot, try booting from a good boot disk or OS CD-ROM, settings for the hard drive are not correct, make sure your physical jumpers on the hard drive are correct, or floppy diskette or CD in computer causing issue, take out any unneeded CDs or floppy disks during the boot up process. Other possible solutions, boot device not set up properly. Make sure your hard drives and other boot devices are set up properly in the BIOS or your computer will hang. Or BIOS corrupt or some other setting not set properly. Check your BIOS for further issues. Connections loose or disconnected. With computer off, check your physical SATA, IDE data, and power cable connections. A loose wire may turn off a hard drive and throw your boot sequence off. My solution was, the boot device was not set properly, so I had to make sure my hard drives were in the proper boot order. This was probably caused by a loose wire on my SATA hard drive. So here's the issue. I'm going to restart the computer and check the BIOS. Now you're going to have to press F1 or F2, the delete key, F10. Everyone's BIOS is different. For mine, it was the delete key. So I just keep pressing it until I go to my BIOS. So here we are. We are at the BIOS screen. I chose advanced BIOS features. Then I went to the hard disk boot priority and clicked return. Uh, the NVIDIA stripe is my primary partition and it is not at the top so I need to move it to the top of the priority list. I use the page up button to do that but it may be different for your BIOS so read the on screen instructions for the proper key to move your primary partition to the top of the sequence. To save my changes, I'm going to press F10. Save changes. I will click Y and then return. to click the source button because there's three different types of inputs into my Samsung monitor. The proper source for my computer is DVI. Yours may be different. This is a good sign. It's starting Windows this time. I'm not stuck at the DMI pool message anymore. So if all's well and dandy, I should go to the start screen. Ooh, configuring Windows updates. I wonder if that had anything to do with my DMI pool message. It might have had something to do with it, or maybe it didn't. Alright, that's all for this My Deal Stash troubleshooting video on the computer stopping at the verifying DMI pool data. Thanks for watching, and we hope you come back to watch another video sometime soon.